Second and a yard. this one to midfield before he's brought down. It's a first down on a gain of 10. But one unit I know you want to watch is that offensive line. If they keep clearing holes like that, it could be a long night defensively. No doubt about it because when they are in sync, as we're seeing so far, when that continuity is there and you can see that they're playing off of each other while controlling the defensive front linebackers, you're exactly right. It could be a very long night for the defense because someone's going to run for some big yardage. Jordan Brooks on the tackle. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. On second down. It's Bell. He'll get about four here. Down to the 43-yard line. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. They'll try and run for it with Bell. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave him with a fourth down. It's fourth down. And on their first drive, the offense staying out there. They're going to go for it on fourth. They'll go for it. It's Mahomes. And my goodness, this is incomplete. The Chiefs tried it, but they're turned away on fourth down. And this defense holds firm here on the opening drive of the night. Wilson and the Seahawks take over now, first and 10 at their own 43. Now here's a defensive timeout called by the Chiefs. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Good starting field position here for the Seahawks as they come up first and 10 at their own 43. He'll be taken down just shy of midfield. It's a six yard gain on the ground and that'll make it second and four. It's a, a quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Four. Six Three, yards three. on that last play. Here's second and four. From the shotgun, Wilson into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the Honey Badger, Tyron Matthews. Turn stops just a little bit shy of midfield at the 48-yard line. The Chiefs take over first and 10 at their own 48-yard line. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. And last time they were very fortunate, this offense. They went for it on four, turned it over in their own territory, but the other guys held up. <laughs> they didn't give up any points. So how about the guy with the number one headset on the sidelines, the head coach? That was planned going into it, not necessarily to not get the first down or to, to have the defense have to hold but he up. he trusted his defense. Trusted his defense very much, and I think that that's how he's going to play this game. Go for it. Be aggressive because I've got the wild bunch backing me up over here on my own sideline. Well, now we'll see what his offense can do. Switch. Switch. Hey, 43, 43, 15. Safety creep. On second down, it's Bell. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. Now 
Now a first down carry by Bell. And some room to roam now. Le'Veon Bell. It's a Ooh. And now look at this. Big gain, but a fumble. And the Seahawks have picked it up. Now the ball comes loose. Able to fall on it, but look where they recovered it. That's a big loss. A lot of bad news on that play for them, wasn't there? Lost the football, lost a lot of yardage, but I think the good news outweighs it. Able to retain possession. That was big for them. I think that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside the five. They'll try and run. This is Williams. Yeah, 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 baby. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. A six-yard touchdown run. And the Chiefs are going to take a first-quarter lead. Great call to hand that one off. And his running back did the rest. Someone read their keys correctly. And on the defensive side of the ball, they certainly did not because they really essentially were just going to swarm the quarterback. They kind of guessed themselves out of the play. And guess who benefited? The guy with the football. Harrison, Harrison Butker is on for the extra point. And his kick is good to make it 7 0 KC. Makes the score Chiefs 7. Seahawks, nothing. Harrison Butker to kick off for Kansas City. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And that's fielded on the back line of the end zone. Take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. They had the interception last time. It led to the opening touchdown. So now 7-0 the score as they start first and 10. Here's a throw, complete right side to start things out. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. I think it's okay there. They didn't get a whole lot on that play, but it's nice to have a safety valve that's built like this guy. Big target, guy you can spot pretty easily. Put it on him when your other targets aren't open. On second down, here's the option. And his throw's gonna be incomplete. In any event, it happened pretty quickly. I'm not sure he made the right decision on that one. I think if he had to leave. From the gun on third down, Wilson. Here's Carson with a catch out of the backfield. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. It'll wind up being a loss of two. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. With the score, Chiefs seven, Seahawks nothing. On fourth down, ready to punt, Michael Dixon. That'll go as a punt of 32 yards. And it's Chiefs football, first and 10. At their own 47-yard line. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. Things progressing to plan so far. Their defense has been solid, and they've got themselves a 7-0 lead after the touchdown the last time they had the ball. And this is no time to even think about, hey, are we going to milk the clock? Hey, are we just going to do ball control? 
This is the NFL. 70 nothing leads. They don't last very long unless you continue to push the envelope on offense. A big chunk on the ground there. 27 yards. 25 yard line. So from Seahawk territory now, it's first and 10 at the 25 yard line. They'll run it with Williams. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. The last run got six, now second and four. A six-yard pickup brings up second and four at the 20-yard line. Williams. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. Damian Williams with his second touchdown here this first half. And the Chiefs are able to extend their lead. And always a good first half when you can hit pay dirt twice. And it never hurts to have that good feeling as the game moves on. Just think about halftime. If, it, if that's all he gets, he'll just sit there at the half and think, all right, two already. I can get some more. I can get some more. And he'll be encouraging his offensive line to create some space. Butker on for the P.A. Now from five yards further back, this becomes a 37-yard extra point attempt. And it's good to make it 14-0. Makes the score, Chiefs 14, Seahawks nothing. to kick off for Kansas City. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. The Seahawks take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And this is their third drive right now, maybe not about points, just about getting something. They haven't gotten a first down yet in this game. It's a mental barrier you don't think about until you go a couple of drives without getting a first down. Then all of a sudden it looms big. It gets harder and harder to actually attain that first first down. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. First play of the drive going for 14 and a first down. They'll run on first down. It's Carson. And he'll go out of the five-yard line. Now, Brandon, that's the way you want to run the football. There should almost be quote bubbles above the offense right now. Bam, boom, biff. That's how they feel good about moving the football. 
And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield after a gain of about four. He was brought down. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. And he's got the first down yardage there as he takes it just across midfield. He's across midfield. It'll be a two-yard gain, and it'll result in a fresh set of downs. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten going on the ground with Homer. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Now Carlos Hyde in the game. And he'll take this close to a first down at the Chiefs 37. Five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. First down. They'll throw on first down with Wilson. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. Give him six on the play, and it'll be a second down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Looking to throw again on second down. Wilson, nowhere to turn here, and he's going to go down. Back at about the 37-yard line. Coming up at halftime in a little less than two minutes, we'll send you to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman is standing by. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. Now on third down, that pass knocked down in the backfield and incomplete. They really had a good drive going there, but a nice recovery by the defense these past few downs. Able to knock that one away on third down and bring up what I think for the offense, an unexpected fourth down here. On comes the Seahawk kicker here on fourth down. It's used an ambitious effort, but it's well short. And this score will stay right where it is. And this is one of the risks you run when you attempt a long field goal. If you miss, the defense takes over the spot of the placement. So now they've got a chance to get one more drive in before halftime. KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. They've really distanced themselves. They have put the pedal to the metal, I guess, so to speak. So definitely have them in the rearview mirror, don't they? I mean, you're exactly right. Being able to string together these drives that end up in points, it's almost like a run in basketball to create that distance, and they're on a really big-time one right now. It becomes contagious, doesn't it? It absolutely does, because oftentimes it translates to your defense as well, because they're excited about getting the ball back for their offense that's playing so well. Well, they are clicking right now. 38-yard line. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They stick to the ground game on first down. It's Williams. And he is out of bounds. 